Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to install the latest version of MySQL Server, which is 8.0.35 on Windows 11. So let's start. So first we will go to this browser. You can use any browser, and here I will search for MySQL. Hit enter. Now we will go to MySQL.com. Click on this downloads. Go down and click this MySQL community downloads. Now here, go for MySQL installer for Windows because we have Windows and now you can see here 8.0.35 is the latest version of MySQL. Now you can see this 5.7.44 is also available. Now we will go down. Here we have two installers, 2.1 MB and 288.6 MB. So we will download this 288.6 MB. So click on this download. Now here, click no. Thanks, just start my download and it will start downloading my schedule. As you can see here, I have already downloaded it, so I'll cross this. Now, I'll go to this show in folder. I'll right click on this, open it. Click yes here. Now, the installation wizard is open. You can click on this full installation, so it will install all the components and you can install only server. We will select this custom, so that we can know what we are installing. So click next. Now from here, expand the server, my schedule servers, and you can see different servers here. But we will select MySQL Server 8 and we will select 8.0.35 and move it to the next list box. Now I'll close this. Now we will go to applications and here I'll go to this MySQL shell and I'll select this and transfer it to the second list box for installation. Now I'll click next. Now here we have MySQL Server and MySQL shell. So we will execute this and it will start downloading it and then install it. So we will wait. Now both are downloaded. So click next and execute. Now my SQL server is complete and my SQL shell is installing. So now both are installed. So we will click next, click next here and it will take this port 3306. It is its default port. Click next here, click next and here you will provide your password. I'll simply provide root and now I'll click next. Now this is the window service name MySQL 80. It will be available in the services if you check it. Click next and yes grant pull access next and execute. Now it will execute these configurations. So now all is set up. So we will click on this finish next and finish. So our installation is complete. Now we will set the path path MySQL. So I'll close this and now we will go to this uh, C and program files and here we will search for MySQL this one and um, MySQL server bin and I'll copy this part. Now I'll right click on this start icon and go to system here go to this uh, advanced system settings environment variables. Now here click on this part edit this create a new path and paste the path here now click ok ok and click ok now close this close this as well and this as well now here search for cmd hit enter now cmd is open so here i'll search for my schedule i have an hyphen version hit enter and you can see here that it has shown us the version of our MySQL server. Now we will access the databases. So I'll use here MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. This means user, which is the user, and this means hyphen p means password. Now if I hit enter, it will ask me for the password. So I'll provide the password, which is root, and hit enter. Now we are connected to MySQL. Now if I use here show databases put semicolon and hit enter now you can see here it has shown me the default databases now i will create a new database so i'll use create database test db and put semicolon and now if i hit enter now you can see here query ok one row affected now if i show databases so show databases put semicolon and hit enter now you can see here at the end test db is also available. So in this way you can install MySQL server on Windows 11 and can connect to it. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.